Hi, my name is Diana Garrett. I was a teacher in my early career years, and now I work for Prismacolor. I travel the country sharing Prismacolor product knowledge and techniques with students, teachers, and artists. I love my life and cannot imagine doing anything else. Sometimes I have to pinch myself to see that I'm really living my dream. And I wanted to show you an interesting technique today using the new pastels. New pastel is a hard pastel. I hope you can see these up here. They have a number printed on them, and the reason for that was that people would break this off and leave the numbered portion in their box and put the longer portion of their pastel in with their tray of those colors, like with their reds, and then when they needed to replace it, they would simply find the number and go back to the store then and purchase one pastel in that color. Other people like to sharpen the whole set or have two sets, have a set for broad areas and a set that's all sharpened, very similar to pastel pencils. So I have both of my sets here, and today I have a piece of black paper, and I have a purchase stencil here. And this is a technique that is quite fun and it's kind of impressive. So I'm just going to start coloring in the butterfly inside of the stencil here. And it helps to have them sharpen to get into these tiny little areas here that I have to use with my stencils here. And I'm going to layer a couple colors. And I don't have to fill in the whole portion here. And the reason for that is that um, I'm going to take and smudge it to blend it a little bit. In a way, it'll look a little bit like airbrushed work or it'll have a nice gradation that you'll see in just a minute here as I get more, more finished with this. Now I can blend this with my finger, kind of like this. Or I could use a paper stump, which I have here. I could just blend it with the paper stump. And then I'm going to start in on my background. I'm going to go around the butterfly. It's a nice aqua. I want to delineate the butterfly, so I am going to go around every part of the butterfly stencil so that the markings on the butterfly then will look black, like the black of the paper, but I don't have to color them in. And the swirls in this make it a really nice, really nice design. I'm going to let some of this come out into a, a deeper color. Go back and add a little more so that you get the full effect of this stencil. This is also great to use as part of your background if you were doing, say, a portrait of a girl or something, you could do that on another portion of this black paper or an animal or something that you wanted to do. You could um, just use this. There are lots of wonderful stencils out there on the market right now, or you can cut your own. That would be another choice for you. Another tool I could use would be a color shaper, and the color shapers will blend. Don't always think, you know, if you're doing a lot of pastel work, pastels are non-toxic, but you don't really want to be blending it with your finger all the time. You might want to um, just use a tool that helps you to blend. They make these in all different, different sizes, and different companies make some the harder, harder finish, some with a softer. But while I'm finishing this up, I also wanted to just mention that the new pastels come in a lot of colors. They come in the 96 colors. Just 
just about ready to show you what is happening here when when I remove my stencil. I just want to do a little bit more. We'll just have a little vignette here on our paper. A little bit more orange. So you can work this as much or as little as you want, but it, it'll help you to create a wonderful artwork. And let's see what we have going on here. Well, there we go. And I would want to put my stencil back on and work on that just a little bit more, but I finished one here already. And you can see how much fun that is to create an artwork using stencils. So I hope you will um, watch all of our Prismacolor videos and visit us on our website, www.prismacolor.com. Thanks.